Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we recently bought a motorhome and we have these sets of bunks. And they look like this. I'm officially claiming the top one. This one can be for my little brother. We each have a window, a nightlight, and a TV. It could use a little bit of spice. So I'm going to be decorating my top bunk as best as I can without absolutely destroying it. I am limited to the amount of holes I can put in the wall. I have these little pins that I'll show you that I'm planning on hopefully hanging some things up with if my dad will let me. So I have this and I wanna to try to hang up this banner. I'll show you. My mom got it for my 14th birthday and used it as a decoration, but I decided to keep it and I just had it hanging up. That's really cool. When I was 14, my mom got this as a decoration for my birthday, but I decided to keep it and I just had it in my closet because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. So I'm gonna see if I can hang it in my little room. Let me give you a look here. I did attach it with the pins and it worked out and I stuck it in the wall right up here at the seam. You can see it's like wedged right in between there so that when I take them down, if we were to sell this motor home or whatever, there won't be any visible marks. Next is finding bedding that matches my nice tapestry banner thing I've got going on in there and I'm excited for that. I'll let you know when there's an update. Hello everybody and welcome to the next day exciting news i have just got my new bedding here it is i love it i think it's beautiful however it does not necessarily match my cactus banner back there but for now i don't really care i have these yellow sheets which i think are pretty cute and again my bedding and i would rather have this bedding than that banner. So if I end up absolutely hating it or just decide it absolutely needs to change, I could always make a new garland like myself using the colors and things that are in this bedding. But for now, this is what I got. Before I can fully set up my bed, um, I have to wait till I get like one of these pee pad things. That's what we call them. But they're really just like a waterproof pad I guess that goes over the mattress we're gonna put one on every bed in here just in case accidents happen like drinks get spilled it's just a precaution to not ruin these mattresses so these are my sheets so check it out this is what these look like they're just this cute mustard color and then my big blanket let's get a look at this I'm excited oh my goodness look at that oh I love it what I can do while we wait is put my uh, pillowcases on some pillows because we did get those today. Ta-da! All right, without putting any of the sheets on yet, this is what it looks like. These do not match. <laughs> they don't match at all, but honestly, I don't really care right now. I can always change it later. I did just have to fold this blanket here in half. And no matter where I sleep really in here, I can use this blanket and these pillows and everything. But how cute. I'm loving it. One other thing I am hoping to do is put some of my fairy lights up here on this bar. I found them. Can you see them? You see them there? I'm thinking about looking for something like this that I can connect to the pole up here to put some of my stuff in. I don't know how big of a deal it's going to be if I'm going to desperately <laughs> want like a little cubby to fit some like my phone just things to keep up here in or if it's not that big of a deal. So we'll have to see about that. But we actually leave for our trip tomorrow. Behind the scenes here, I've been doing some packing and actually my stuff, all my stuff is right over here that I gotta fit in my compartment in the back. So if you wanna see my packing video, I'm going to be filming that right after this. It'll be up very soon, so stay tuned for that. But for now, this is my decorated motorhome bunk. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.